I didn't know what to do. I, some nights I just couldn't sleep. And then I'd have to wake up and go to school and I'd be fatigued throughout the day. I'd... We can tell the difference when the kids have had a good night's sleep in the morning. Everybody's happier. Uh, everybody finds it easier to get started in the day and they look forward to their day a bit more. My strategies for getting a good sleep are to have a routine. And that doesn't mean I stick to that routine all the time. So mine comes in a four-step strategy. First one is I have an app on my phone that lets me know about an hour left to bed to start that routine. Two is I take a warm shower. That helps me get rid of the energy from the day. And three, I put on my PJs. And option 3B is that I might have a chamomile tea if I'm feeling, you know, I need that relaxation. And four is get a notebook out. Write down your thoughts and one by one take them off your mind. Come back to them in the morning. Some of the other things I think that as a parent you can do is to um, give, give your kids some good advice around leaving electronics outside of the bedroom uh, and to have that safe space where they can go to sleep on their own. I wouldn't recommend drinking caffeine in the afternoon because that'll keep you up at night. I think it's important to, to help your kids get a good night's sleep by giving them some time to digest their day and to talk to you about anything that's on their mind. I think the best part about getting a good night's sleep is that you wake up with a fresh mind and you're ready to tackle anything.